country American qui vient en France depuis plus de 5 ans. And today we are doing a little hike over in the Honec, in the Vosges Mountains, um, by Crête, uh, Rue des Crêtes. It is like the third tallest part of the Vosges Mountains, and it's like I think the highest in La Lorraine. It's at like 1,363 meters tall, I believe. Um, but like, look at these views. <laughs> it is a little colder than expected. We're in the month of May and you'll see, we can still see some snow that hasn't fully melted up top here. But just missing a little bit of sun. Um, but yeah, like the views are beautiful. And there are so many different trails that you could take. I settled on uh, Le Sentier des Neves du Castleberg because it said there was a possibility of seeing Les Chamois, which is a type of like goat antelope mix. And it said that this route, you had the best chance of seeing them. So we'll see, <laughs> on verra bien. And this is also one of the easier trails. It's about three hours long, but we brought um, sandwiches for a little picnic. I found this route on this great hiker's website called uh, Viso Rando. And this video is not sponsored, but <laughs> it's really great. They have um, the difficulty levels, different routes, and even maps and details on how to access them and all that. for its uh, myrtille, which is blueberries. So we are going to go check out an auberge, um, a restaurant that has, like, they're known for their blueberry tart. And we're gonna see if we can get one and warm up because like I said, it is very cold for May. Hike at Le Honec. 
and it is gorgeous. Don't regret it, and I definitely recommend it. However, with the wind, we did not expect the wind, and it was like freezing wind. So yeah, just surprised at how windy it was, but still really cool. You can hear the wind now. <laughs> But still a really cool experience and I definitely recommend it. There are many other routes as well. So if you um, want to make this like a week long trip, you could easily do other routes. There's also Jaramé, La Bresse, which are great little cities to check out as well. Um, there's lots to do in this area. It's also near Alsace. So it's a great area for nature lovers. I mean, look at that view. Well, let me know if you ever have hiked in Rurik and what are your thoughts and if there's any other specific trails that you recommend. But until next time, thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.